In this video, I'm going to show you how to do basic color grading in DaVinci Resolve for your short form content or any content in general, any footage that you have. But specifically, I'm talking about the short form content, so Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. So when we have Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, it's in the vertical resolution, right? Right now, I have this footage in a vertical resolution. You can see in the timelines, I have this set at vertical settings. And over here, I drag this clip in. And I have muted the audio because we don't need that. Right now, we just need to focus on the footage. Now, of course, the color grading process depends on the kind of footage that you have. So this process can be different for everyone. Whatever your clip is or whatever kind of direction you want to go in, the color grading process will be different. But I'm going to show you the basics and you can enhance your video. Basically, you can just enhance your videos for your shorts. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. You don't need to go into the extra details. The you can say complex or advanced level stuff. This is just basics. So right now, let's select our footage and go over to the color grading section. But you can do that, but I'm going to add this adjustment clip. And the reason I'm going to add this is, and let me just cover the whole clip. The reason I'm adding this adjustment clip is so that you can see the difference. So for example, if I select this adjustment clip and go over to the composition, and let's say I change something. So let's say I just change this offset and come back to the main timeline. Now I can hide this and see, okay, the color, or you can say the color grading applied only to the adjustment clip, not to the footage. So in this way, you can just test things out or maybe you can see the difference. And sometimes people have cuts. So let's say you have these cuts right here and you don't want to apply this to, you can say, you want the color grading to be applied to every single clip, but you've already made many cuts and now you want to apply an effect, a color grading on all of these. So you can use an adjustment clip. Of course, there are other options as well. You can use other options as well, but I'm just going with the adjustment clip just for this video, just to show you. Otherwise, you can just use this clip and just start color grading. So let me just add this again. And now let's go over to the color grading section. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is I'm at the color wheel section and this is just the primary color wheels. Now, this lift, gamma and gain, as you can see, these represents, the lift represents the darker colors in the footage. The gamma is the mid-range colors and then the gain is like the light, lighter ones. And offset is the overall, you can say, all of these. All of these are basically offset. So what I'm going to do right here, and by the way, these scopes right here, as you can see, these scopes right here, these are the color ranges. So you can see where your color ranges are when you are editing right here. So for example, if I change the offset, you will notice them, the scopes changing. And of course, you can use this button to reset. Now there are different options. You can use a waveform, you can use vertoscope, you can use histogram, you can use all of these, but I'm going to stick with this one, parade. Okay, so first thing is about the clip. Right now, as I told you, that the clip I have is, is a, you can say, more bright overall. So I want to lower the brightness, you can say, or at least make it look better than before. So what I can do here is go over to the lift and just decrease this. And using this slider, you will notice that right here, the colors are decreasing. It's going towards zero. So I'm at 0 .0, minus 0 0.02. And already you can see that the clip is also getting darker. So let's go with, let's say, 0 point, minus 0 0.03. And right here, you can see this matches the zero mark. And over here, we are getting a different look. So let's go back to the main timeline and let's see the difference. So this was the original one. And this is after just a slight, you can say, change in the color grading. Now let's go over to the gain. And this will change the bright brighter colors for us so for example these ones right here this will change this for us so let's say i want to lower this a little bit also so you can see that this is getting lower but let's not go too low let's just stick with 0 0.98 now of course depending on your clip if you're going for a brighter you can say color you can increase this. So for example, just to show you, if I increase this, you will notice that, okay, the whiter colors are getting more brighter. So you can do that if you want more brightness. So 
and you can just see the scope so for example if i go too bright you will see them getting out of the scopes and we don't want that we don't want too much and you will already see like whatever you see right here is being represented on your footage so this is just the guide of what's happening right here so that's why i'm focusing on this part but of course you can just see how you want the look to be and just make changes accordingly so let's go a little bit dark right here so maybe add 0 0.98 this look this works for me and this gamma right here these are the mid ranges so you will notice this mid range this mid range changing so if i change this you will see that okay the mid ranges are increasing decreasing so right now since i'm going for a darker look overall i'm just going with minus 0 0.01 but of course for this one it wasn't necessary to change this but you can just work with the lift and the gain to at least a crisp look for your whites and your blacks you can say now overall in the offset if i increase this this will change the overall you can say colors for the brightness and then you can get more darker from this as well but let's just keep this at default now the next thing i want to show you is the saturation so for example you want to go for a black and white you can just change this to zero and you will see that this is getting black and white now or you can just increase this if you want more colorful but this will you you can see that this will make things look more weirder so let's keep this slightly lower so maybe add 45 okay so 45 this this works for me and you will notice that right here it is giving a gap now for the brightness so maybe we went too low on the saturation you can increase this with gain maybe so let's say at 0 0.99 this looks okay all right so next thing is that you can see right here in this panel that we have this one layer and whatever we applied was affected and is basically affected using this node right here so if i right click i can add another node you can go over to add nodes and add click on this add serial and this will create another node now this is good if you want to maybe let's say edit a different part of the video so for example i want to increase the i want to keep the brightness of the face but i want to hide or you can say lower the color in the background so what i can do is go over to this masking right here masking window and click on any of these so right now i want a an ellipse so i can just click on ellipse you can also use rectangle for your whatever your footage is with whatever part of your footage you want to edit you can also use this pen and just create them you can say like this something like this but i'm not going to do that so let me just click on this ellipse and you can see we have this and you can increase it from this using this tab and this is the softness so i think right here this looks fine and i'm going to change the softness to 50. now let's go over to the curves and i'm going to decrease this so if i decrease this you will notice that okay this is getting darker in the middle but you if you go back and click over here this will invert the effect so now you can see that the background is getting darker perfect so now you can just adjust this so slightly darker you can also use this create a curve maybe so you can see that the background is now getting darker and that's what we wanted we don't want the background to be very prominent somewhere around here looks okay so now you can see that right here whatever we applied was applied only on this node and if we delete this this will get removed and if you go back right here click on this you will see we have our color wheels with the same settings that we have and this one does not have those settings so if we apply any different things right here any different effect right here this will affect the previous clip as well so make sure whatever your targeted area is you can create separate nodes for them so that this will get a you can say this will be more manageable otherwise if we only use this one clip this one node and use this window this that effect that we had using the color wheels would only get applied in the background now because we inverted it so this is something that you need to keep in mind now let's go back to the main timeline and see how this looks so this was the original and this is after color grading so you can see how easy it was to create a simple color grading using davinci resolve and these this was just the basics this is literally basic stuff and i think this is good 
start a good start if you want to maybe go on to a more advanced sort of a color grading for your footages of course you don't need an adjustment clip you can just use this on the main you can say footage but the adjustment clip is just so that i can show you the changes okay again this was it for this video i hope this will help you on your color grading journey as a beginner if you are a beginner of course this is not for advanced sort of stuff if you already know color grading this is this video might not be for you but for all the beginners who are watching you can use this use these settings just to learn about color grading and then start experimenting with whatever clip that you have and then you can build on and just make achieve your desired outlook for your footage so i will leave it right here this was it for this video i hope you will find this video useful and i will see you in the next one